Hello everyone, this is Press here, and did you guys know that your actual in-game sensitivity slider is not an accurate representation of what your actual sensitivity is? What I mean by this is your in-game value that shows on the bar in-game is actually not precisely your sensitivity. For example, let's say that both my X and Y sensitivity values are at 0.09 out of 800 dpi. The actual sensitivity could range between values of 0.08 and 0.1. This means my actual sensitivity could be 0 0.087643, 0 0.096582, or any random number between 0 0.08 and 0 0.1. Why this is such a big deal that needs to be immediately addressed is because if you ever change your sensitivity, you have no idea what it actually is and there could be huge discrepancies. Your sensitivity literally could be 20% higher or 20% lower than what you actually want. Now you used to be able to manually change your sensitivity through the in-game files, but sadly that option was removed months ago. So what's the solution now? I'll quickly go over how to get your exact sensitivity values, and also my concerns on how you do this. So Reddit user Altimore has created a third-party client settings editor that you can download and manually adjust your sensitivity settings. From this Reddit thread that I'll link in the description, you can find the links to download the app and also find additional information about this app. Once you have finished installing the app, open it up, go to File, go to Cloud Import, and then sign into your Epic account. After you have signed into your Epic account, double click on your latest Fortnite file settings. This will now show your actual in-game sensitivity values, and as you can see, they are all over the place. For targeting and scope values, enter in exactly what you want. In my case, I put in 0.34 and 0.47. Now for mouse X and Y sensitivities, you're going to do the same thing, but divide the value you want by 4. So in my case, I want exactly 0 0.0937. I would divide this by 4 and get 0 0.023425. I would then enter this value into the boxes. I don't know why you have to divide by 4, but it was in the Reddit thread. After you have changed your values, go back to the file and hit export this time. Double click again on the setting and this will give you an OK notification. After that, you are good to go. Make sure you restart your game for the changes to come into effect. Now I have a few concerns about doing this overall process. My first concern is giving your password to a third party app. And my second concern is since it's an unofficial way of modifying the game settings, I'm worried that over time something might flag my Epic account through the Epic system for cheating or, or some sorts. I know many others and myself have not come across any bans or any problems doing this, but it still gives me some you know, anxiety that the possibility might occur in the future. Overall, the main purpose of this video is to give more visibility to a widely unknown critical flaw on Fortnite. Many games such as CSGO and Overwatch have highly customizable in-game sensitivity settings and I don't know why the biggest game of 2017 and 2018 cannot have such a simple setting. Hopefully this can bring more exposure to the issue and an eventual fix may potentially release in the future, but until next time everyone.